Hi, it's Terry with the Cover Tip Board, and I've been working on our, my miniature church, making a tiny miniature church. It's about, oh, I think it's like three and a half by five or four by eight, so it's much smaller than the original. I took the um, church windows, and I wanted to show you, I've added to the files a um, single church window and I wanted to show you how to make it a print and cut so that you don't have to hand cut them if you don't want to. I'm in Cricut Design Space. I'm going to click Upload and then Upload Image, Browse, and I'm going to browse my hard drive for where that um, that file is of the single window. And here you can see it right here. So I'm going to click on that file, open it up, I'm going to click Complex and Continue. And there's a little white area out, outside this black line. You need to get rid of that. So you want to click on this Select and Erase tool. Then come over and outside the black line, click. And now you can see it's erased all of the white that was out there. Otherwise, Cricut will try to cut that whole area out instead of on the black line. Click Continue. You want to make sure that Save as Print, then Cut is selected. Click Save. Then I want to click this, and we're going to pretend that we have the small church file already uploaded. Click Insert Image. Now, if I already had the small church file, it would already all be on here. Now, this comes up larger than what size you need it to be, so you're going to resize it. You want to unlock, and then up here at the top where it says size, we're going to change the width to 0 0.68, and then we're going to change the height to 1.546. Now it's the correct size, and you'll need 10 of these for the church, so all you want to do is make sure it's selected. Let's click the lock so it doesn't change the size by accident. On your keyboard, um, you want to use your keyboard and do copy and paste, and just continue to copy and paste, or paste. You can also go up here and um, use the copy and or the duplicate if you want until you have 10 of them. Now once you have 10 of them in here you don't have to do anything else different with it just leave it when you go to make it the um, Cricut, well let me go ahead and do 10 and show, show you what happens. 8 and we need 2 more. So now we have 10 of them and I would just leave them like this on my mat in Design Space or my canvas. So then I'm going to go to Make It. Cricut is going to recognize it as a print and cut and it's going to go ahead and add them all in here as needed. Then you would click Continue, then Send to Printer and it's going to print it out. I've printed this on just plain white copy paper. Once it's printed then your, uh, the screen for um, choosing your material will come up, and if you click paper, it will, um, I'm going to click, I've already printed so it knows, this screen will come up, and then you can click on browse all materials, type in paper, and you'll see copy paper, 20 pound. That's what you would, that's the material you would use. So select it, click done, and it will take, get ready to cut it for you. And that's all there is to it. So I hope that helps you figure out for the print and cut. If you have any other questions, just visit my blog, find the post, and leave me a message. Or you can send me an email, or you can reach me on Facebook. Have a great day. Bye.